everyone this is example four of chapter nine effective stress in in this example we are given a more realistic soil profile so we have a sand layer on top a clay layer in the middle and also another sand layer sand gravel layer at the bottom okay. and we are asked to do determine the effective stress at point b so point b is located at the middle of the clay layer uh, so for this example, we are going to use the effective stress equation to calculate uh, the uh, effective stress at point B. So sigma B prime is sigma B, which is the total stress minus the pore pressure at B. And the tricky part of this example is um, this: uh, we don't know uh, the pore pressure at B. So the total stress is very easy to calculate. So for total stress, sigma B is the total weight of soil above this point so we have the groundwater table and we know the saturated unit weight of the sand layer on top we know the saturated unit weight of the clay so this total weight is so we have five feet of sand gravel so that's five feet of gamma saturated sand plus um, so since point B is at the middle of the clay layer so it's going to be uh, one half of that 15 so we have 7.5 so 15 over 2 so that's 7.5 feet of clay above point B so we have gamma saturated clay okay right so if you plug in numbers so this is 5 times 125 plus 7.5 times 100 so that's a unit weight saturated unit weight of clay and this gives us the total uh, this is the total stress of uh, at point B so this is 1375 unit is PSF pound per square foot so that's the total stress that's relatively easy to calculate and then the tricky part, as I mentioned, is the pore pressure. So pore pressure, so since clay is, uh, point B is at the middle of this impermeable clay layer, um, so we don't actually know the pore pressure. And the way we're going to find the pore pressure at point B is to use interpolation. So we're going to look at the pore pressure at point A, and then the pore pressure at point C. We calculate these two values, and then interpolate to get the pore pressure at B. So let's look at point A first. So for point A, it's relatively easy. So this is hydrostatic condition. So meaning the water has this free surface. So if you put a stand pipe, you know the water is going to rise to the free surface. And so for at point A, UA is simply five. So that's a height of water table times the unit weight of water, 62.4. So the pore pressure at A is 312 PSF, pound per square foot. So that's point A. And then point C. So point C is at the bottom of the clay layer and at the top of the second sand gravel layer. And we talked about this in previous lecture. So this sand gravel layer at the bottom, so this bottom layer here, it is under what we call artesian condition. So it has this impermeable clay layer pressing from the top so the water pressure inside this second layer is going to be higher than the hydrostatic water pressure and for this problem actually if you look at this last layer here if you look at this profile you notice it's actually connected to an open water okay so this whole channel here you can think of this as a natural standpipe so that's how high water will rise if you put a standpipe there. So it's rise up to this lake surface here. And the height of this lake surface is given to you. So it's 10 feet above the ground surface. Okay. So then if you put a standpipe at point C, okay. so let's say if you put a standpipe to measure the pore pressure at point C, that water is going to rise all the way to the top of that the surface of that lake okay. 
So this whole distance is the height of the water column. Okay. And so again, think of this. Again, think of this as a big standpipe here. So this is a natural standpipe. Okay. Okay. So this, the surface of that lake gives you basically the height of the water column. So that is 10 plus 5 plus 15, so that's 30 feet. So you have 30 feet of water. So that gives you a way to calculate pore pressure at point C. Okay. So UC is 30 times 62.4, and that's 1872 PSF. So once you have the pore pressures at point A and C, then at point B, we just do use uh, interpolation. So it's uh, it's at the middle of the clay layer. So U B is one over two U A plus U C. Okay. And that gives us the pore pressure at B is ten ninety two psf. So now we have the total stress at B, the pore pressure at B, then the effective stress sigma B prime is sigma B minus UB. And that is simply 283 PSF. 